fantastic Sunday morning but I have my shoulder surgery tomorrow morning and I just want to let everybody know that I'm only going to be one-handed for about six to eight weeks um, so I won't be able to comment back on everybody's comments I will do my best to comment as much as I can but please do not get offended if I do not comment back on your comments. Um, new people, I will definitely be commenting on them, welcoming, welcoming them to the community. But it's going to be hard for me to type with one hand. Um, so I won't be commenting on everybody's comments. I'm sorry, guys. I hope that doesn't chase any of you away. Um, you know, as soon as I can, I will start commenting back on everybody again like I do. <sighs> but just hang in there with us. Good morning, honey. Good morning. What you doing? Drinking my coffee. Did you already have your, your breakfast? Yes, I did. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Two Rice Krispie treats, huh? Yep. Yeah. Get all that sugar in there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep my energy up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need to go make myself something to eat. Good. Go make something to eat. You go. No. You go. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Nope. Yep. You need exercise. Hey! The doctor said you needed to be up and about. I exercised yesterday. I exercised the night before and the night before that. And not today. You're a butt. Yep, tomorrow you're not going to be able to exercise. Tomorrow I'm not even going to know my name. Oh, I'll point it out to you a few couple of times. <laughs> Are you going to tell me the right name? Maybe. <laughs> Start calling you Christine. Okay, so I'm uh, continuing to work on this edge of the floor for the tiling in the dining area. And what I've done so far is I've cut the carpet back so that I can get a uh, piece of wood in the middle there. Now, here's a test piece that I'm running on the edge. And I cut a a chunk out by three eighths by three eighths, about half the width of the piece of wood. And um, what I'm going to do is put that right up to the edge of the concrete. But this is the idea. The carpet will go underneath it, so if I need a new carpet, I could actually put it underneath it as well. Here is my tile, and it will butt up to it. And this will be my edge. And I'm going to do a round over here. I got about a, I have a 3 8 inch round over. So I've just got to fill these holes in the concrete. Got to smooth it out a little bit more. I've got some nails protruding that I'm going to have to cut out as well. Okay, so I had to cut some nails. So I cut some nails. Next, I'm going to have to smooth out the concrete just a little bit more and uh, remove this excess glue that's here. I've uh, covered things up a little because I don't want this glue all over the place. It's uh, glue dust, that is. Okay, so I had to pull the casing off of this side of the wall because I have to run uh, that board all the way to the cabinet. 
And of course I ran into some more fun stuff. Since this is actually the exterior of the house, previous owner uh, covered the stucco, exterior stucco, with just some plywood. And so I'm going to have to cut that plywood back. problem so I've got to cut my 12 foot long board down to 94 inches but before I can do that I'm gonna to have to clear my um, raid alarm saw table it's become a catch-all as usual Alright, so I got my table saw out, which was no easy task. And I'm going to cut this down to four inches in width. I think it's uh, going to be around three and a half when I'm finished, but it's not consistent all the way across, so I want some to work with. I need to sand it down. Set my blade. Myself some push sticks so I don't lose any more fingers. On my best side, let's go. I need to fix that a little better than that but uh, so I can get this last cut because this is how it's going to uh, sit up over the carpet it's going to be up against the wall and then over the carpet so if we ever want to re-carpet they just push the carpet underneath and this way the bottom of this will actually sit on the concrete floor all right so I cut out the 3 8 of an inch groove the full length and now I'm going to go fit it to the floor. So I have it all cut down. It all fits perfectly. So right now what I have to do is uh, put in a, uh, a detail edge on it. I'm just going to do a round over. This is a 3 8 inch round over. I'm just going to do a 3 8 I want to have more uh, edge to step on. So I'm going to put that on the edge. So I have two more steps now. I need to sand it. I'll use a, a, a random orbital sander to get all the marks out. But before I stain it, I'm going to get some pan sandpaper and just make sure I sand it all in a single direction because this has a tendency to uh, um, lift the grain. <laughs> Aside to uh, dry and clean up this big mess I made. Fine. Hello, everybody. Hello. It's time for neighborhood community shout outs. First off, spasmodic. 
I may look like a little kid because I have to wear things in my hair all the time, but that's because that's how people recognize me. It's part of my, um, my alter ego, I guess, is the best way to say it. That's right. That's who I am. Tell she roll. Tell I roll, man. <laughs> Call today. Thank you for watching all of our videos, and thank you for the very kind words. And yes, Bambi, we are just normal people with just a hint of crazy on the side. Just a little hint. And yes, everybody, Sarah is a very hot, sexy grandmother to be. <laughs> okay, that's all I had as far as shout-outs go. So now we are going to talk about my question that I had last night about your zodiac sign and does it fit you and we had several people answer um, Angie Lupus Life is a Virgo Melody Mainville which is mom's vlog 80 she's Aries I love my singing monsters also Aries Brandon Windsor he's Libra kind of got that, you know. He, I think he fits that pretty good. Um, Terry Johnson is Capricorn. And I have to say, three of my very best friends are Capricorn. Sarah, Psycho Sarah, my tattoo artist, is a Capricorn. Tanya Longley, I grew up with her back in New York, is a Capricorn. And Crimson Fairy, who is a close, very close personal friend of mine as well, is a Capricorn. What are they trying to tell me? That we love you. Capricorns love me. I am a Pisces. I'm a fish. They're a crab. Hmm. Oh no, wait, no. Cancer's the crab. He's the crab. I'm a fish. He's a crab. <laughs> They're a goat. So the goats like the fish. Oh. But I, being a Pisces, let, let, let you guys decide if these fit me. Um, compassionate, adaptable, accepting, devoted, imaginative, oversensitive, indecisive, self-pitying, lazy, and an escapist. Now, I say all but one of those fit me. Tell me below which one you, which, what you think does or does not fit me, being a Pisces. So, we told, obviously I told everybody that you're a cancer. Yeah, I grow on you. Didn't take them long to grow on me. Um, so, what are some of your traits? Uh, I don't think I really... Some of your traits fit. So, I, uh, cancers are called moon ch children, moon child, because they're supposed to be moody. Not sensitive. He's a little moody. Sometimes. Yes, you are. No. Never. Well, what else? What else? There's more. Crabby? No, there were good ones. I don't know. You didn't write them down? There were well, good ones that I didn't do. know there was a test at the end of this. There were good ones that do fit him, but he didn't want to write them down and tell what they were. They didn't fit me at all. Some of them did. Pause this. Pause I looked this. up his traits because he was being so stubborn. He is loyal, dependable, caring, adaptable, responsive. What, do I, what am I responsive to? When I call you, you come running. <laughs> that's responsive. I think that's just your lazy part of here. Yeah, but you respond to my <laughs> lazy part. So that's all I have. So my question for today, now that I've got so enraged with Kevin, uh, I forgot what my question was. was oh, how do you handle stress? Oversensitive. How do you... <laughs> how do you handle stress? <laughs> I'm married to stress. How do you handle it? Me? 
There you is, just stressed me out. There's no stress here. Man. <laughs> this okay. is this is as mellow as it gets, man. Hey, just because you're getting your hair all long doesn't mean you're like a hippie dude now, okay? <laughs> Moving on. What was, your, Moving what was on. your question again? My question for today is how do you handle your stress? <laughs> what do you do to relieve your stress? Remember, keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jay, keep it clean. <laughs> It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Alright, gee, I thought we'd never get through this. Okay, so yesterday's question had to do with the Evil Dead Who? 1987. Um, they, there was a scene in the shed where he is uh, actually cutting up his girlfriend with a chainsaw. But oh, poor you have girlfriend. to watch that to, to understand why. But uh, there's, uh, over the door is um, Freddy's glove with uh, the knives on it. And apparently it was in response to uh, um, Wes Craven using Evil Dead 1. It was on the TV in his movie. Say, uh, and the ones who got it right, there's the same people. Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, and Bambi S. Okay, tonight's trivia is kind of strange. The Birds, 1963, Alfred Hitchcock. I like that. Classic. Um, there's a, a lot of things that were uh, were done with the Birds to make them do what they wanted to do. And remember, this is 63, so they actually had to work with either fake birds or real birds. But um, in the final scene where they're walking through all the seagulls and stuff, and uh, how did they get the seagulls to just sit there? There's your question for tonight. Put you, you to bed. <laughs> Gotta take a shower. There's your question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Remember, I will not be able to do much commenting back for a little while. Um, She's gonna be so whiny. <laughs> all you're gonna see is the top of her head under the blanket. Wow. Kevin! For next week. We love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Well, I might. Well, I'll see you, but I don't remember if I'll see you or not. So, bye! Bye. <laughs> It'll be fun. I'll have my camera on. <laughs>